I'm gone. I'm dead. When I tell you, I was running so fast, bro. And I know she got in trouble because I slammed the door lock. I know she knows somebody was in her car because I slammed the door lock. As soon as I got out, pew, I did. I took off. I won't play no games. I done took so many losses, they gon' finally fuck us They wouldn't even give me a chance, I think they finally know it Just because we got guns, don't mean we gotta post it I brought my name out of mud, and how I know I'm chosen I don't gotta catch up with no nigga, I'm ahead of them Just because I'm entertaining B, don't mean no scared of them I mean, man, he gon' fail I know y'all see that quality Don't question my, my two different colors, man I mismatched today, but it don't really matter, you feel me? Cause I still get right with different colors on Repeat that quality though, gang but let's get right. What's good, YouTube? It's Dibber Watch and I got a banger for y'all boys. You feel me? So I got a story time on how I got caught in the middle of a mission. You feel me? I secured that bag. You feel me? I got caught. But I'm finna let y'all know. Yes, yes. I know, bro. It sound crazy. I got caught. I didn't get caught. I didn't. But look, I really didn't get caught. I got away. But y'all gotta stay tuned. This, you feel me? I gotta watch this. Y'all stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social medias. Follow me on TikTok. At least get me to a hundred on TikTok. You feel me? I don't even be at them, but I'm gonna get right on TikTok. You feel me? Like I am on YouTube. So y'all stay tuned and get right into it. Gotta get straight to the home. Yeah. Man. So, what's good, y'all boys? You feel me? So basically, we about to get straight into it. So I'ma tell y'all how, like, from the how it even led up to the, so us getting the link, you feel me? So basically, from the beginning, I'm at my sister, remind you, I'm at my sister crib. So my sister, like, my sister cool, you know, you feel me, my sister cool. If I watch her kids, I'm good, you feel me? All I gotta do is watch her kids, I can do anything, you feel me? So. I watch your kids, we watch your kids, me and my homeboys watch your kids all day. She get home, she go to sleep. Basically, so we up though, it's three of us. We up, we chilling like one month, a ton of all that. Like, you know how you got to sleep over at the bro's screen, y'all all on the phone, you feel me? Y'all all on the phone with a bitch. But look, tell me what I had this. Bro, she wasn't really my girl, but I was really like just chatting with her, you feel me? So basically, Long story short, I, I was playing, and I was like, we're gonna come to your house right now. But she don't stay too far. But she not like, in walking distance, like you would just walk there, like, nah, like she, you can't just walk there. You gotta ride a bike or something, you feel me? She ain't across the street, nigga. But it's, not, it's one in the morning, man, it was one in the morning. So tell me why, she like, when I asked the question, she like, I'm gonna come outside. I'm like, you cap. So I'm like, I say it one more time. So if I come over there right now, like we, you coming outside, you gonna slide, you feel me? But me, I know if I come out there, we not gonna be outside, you feel me? Just, you feel me? She gonna sneak me in or something with me in the car, so. So she like, yeah, I'm gonna come outside. I'm like, all right, man, I'm gonna come over there. She said, Oh, for real? I thought you were playing. I'm like, no, nah, for real. All right, so man, I get it. We get to chat, you know, we put on our clothes, all that. So I'm like, bro, one of us gotta stay here because what if my sister locked the door? You hear me? Because my sister, oh, like, she always getting up, just locking the door for no reason. Mid of the night, she'd get up, go see if the door unlocked. But, so I'm like, all right, one of them stay there, stay at the crib. So once they home, one of my homeboys, one of my homeboys, we like, he like, he ain't gonna walk, bro. But I'm like, just, just walk. But man, we young. We're jits. We're little young, bro. We're young. So like, we ain't really got nothing better else to do. Like, we young, we can, you feel me? But look, so basically, he like, he ain't gonna walk, he a ride a bike. So he pick up this bike, bro. It don't, don't you know how it got the pegs on the back? Like BMX bikes got the little pegs. He ain't got no pegs. He got a little beach cruiser, bro. 
a beach cruiser and want to rat, bro. He want to rat it to her house. I say, bro, on God, you not riding me, nigga. On God, hold up, pause, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> on God, I'm not hopping on the handlebars, nigga. You're getting on the handlebars. So this nigga hop on the handlebars for like, for like three minutes. He like, nah, I'm gonna walk, bro. I am like, I told you, bro, we should just walk in the first So, long story short, we get to girl house, though, still. He want to be a dummy, he walked there, I got there before him. So, we get there. So I'm texting her, I'm like, come outside. Come outside, she like, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna sit in the car for a little bit. My eye like, bet I'm sitting in the car, so me and her get in the back seat, bro. We get in the back seat, we, we chilling and shit, she playing. So I'm like, I'm like, we gonna go in the crib. Since she like, I'm chatting with her, I'm like, we can get in the crib or something. Like, she, she chat, she scared a little bit. Man, you bro, she's a church girl. Like, she goes to church, bro. I wouldn't even think she like do none of this. Like, she, bro, she goes to church. Her mom is a preacher or something. Something like that, but I guess you go to church every day. You feel me? She always at the Sunday schools, bro. Always, it never fails. I know she, bro. I know she at every Sunday school. Probably, probably, she probably the one teaching the class. You feel me? But look, so I'm there. I'm there, right? I'm like, let's get in the crib. Let's get in the crib. Let's go in the crib. You feel me? But like 10 minutes while we in the car, we playing. We were doing what we do. You feel me? But I home, my homeboy in the car, man, he ain't gonna leave him outside, he ain't gonna be no ill man, that's what I'm trying to get in the crib. So I got him in the car, so I can't do too much, but I'm doing some light shit, you feel me? So, basically, like 10 minutes, 10, 10 minutes into what we were doing, I see her door open. Like, her front door just busts wide open. I'm like, uh huh. I'm like, I'm looking at him like Daisy. Her mama come outside, he's, man, you is three in the morning at like it was one it was one when i first was like we was on the phone then by the time we left the house it was about two two thirty yeah so it was about it was about three about three you feel me so we get there it's about three and her mama come outside bro so i said so so my homeboy in the front seat like she she like that on the left side, like on the like driver's side. You feel me? The house like on the driver's side, but he in the in the driver's seat. So like he directly facing her, you feel me? So I'm in the back seat, so I just get to ducking, like I'm ducking, I'm like, but I can see her, I'm looking through the little middle part. Like, what's that thing called? Y'all know what middle part I'm talking about, you feel me? So I'm looking through that. And I'm like, oh snap. I'm like, it's your mama. She's like, yeah. I'm like, you didn't set this up. You told her she is. But I'm really snapping in my head, but I can't say too much. So as soon as her mama go inside, wait, I hop straight out the door. Pew! I'm gone. I'm dead. When I tell you, I was running so fast, bro. And I know she got in trouble because I slammed the door lock. I know she knows somebody was in her car because I slammed the door lock. As soon as I got out, pew! I did. I took off. I won't play no games. You feel me? But look, only reason I took off, cause I knew my homeboy was finna get caught. Cause he on the pat he on the driver's side. He get out and start tiptoeing. Like this, we playing GI, we a GI Joe character or something. He started tiptoeing like we finna kill somebody. No sir, I'm trying to get away. I said I hop out, slam the door, gone. Then I next thing you know I hear him behind me. I'm smoking him though, so I run around and hold up. I run around a whole building. So basically, it's like she ain't like this little con these complexes. You can run around and stuff. So I run all the way around. This is the only dumb decision I made. I said, I text the girl, are you okay? Like, are you good? Like, after the fact. So she kept calling me, she kept calling me. I'm like, bro, I know this ain't her. Cause she ain't texting me back. Like, she just keep calling my phone, keep calling. I'm hanging on, hanging on, hanging on. So we getting, like, we almost back to the crib. I answered. She like, she like, she 
started, like, this is her moment. She started snapping. She like, something. I, don't, I can't even remember the whole conversation, but I know she like, I could have called the police on y'all and stuff like that. That's all I know. She said something about she calling the police. So what? I get the pill into the crib too. I'm like, oh no, nah, she trying to go. We better go to jail. I'm, I almost threw my phone in the gutter because I had to know. I almost threw the whole phone in the gutter. I'm like, they ain't getting me. You feel me? So I get to the house. I tell my old homie about this. He called us a dummy and everything. Bro. But that's really how we got caught doing that. Was, bro, that was really the most funniest experience as a little dude, bro. I promise you. But you feel me? Y'all let me know. If that was like, if y'all fuck with story time or not, or if do y'all want story times, blind dates, you feel me? Y'all just put it in the comments what y'all want. Y'all stay tuned, you feel me? Cause it, it's only up from here. We ain't stopping, no cap. So y'all get right on game.